Since last Thursday, the focus of the investigation has been around a piece of wing called a flapperon. Now, there's one on each side, and they move around to help the pilot control the aircraft. Now, it's a big piece. It's about six feet long, but it's hollow inside, which is why it floated. And here is the actual flapperon that they discovered. You can see it's covered in barnacles, and that shows it's been in the sea for at least a year. It washed up on this remote French island in the middle of the Indian Ocean, called Reunion Island. It's two and a half thousand miles away from where two ships armed with sonar kit are still searching the seabed for the main body of the plane. Now, incredibly, that huge distance has reassured investigators that they're looking roughly in the right place. Because if you look at these currents and the winds, that would carry the flotsam north and then west across the ocean. And that means that nearly a year and a half later, it might make land in Mauritius, Madagascar, even as far away as South Africa. And have a look at this computer model. The red dots show the area where there might be more debris. But after all this time, we're probably just talking about seat cushions, life jackets, tray tables, lost in all that water. Given enough time, absolutely everything will sink.